Hello, thank you for joining me. There's my larder there. It's on display with a few other classic cars at Fairham Model Engineers Open Day. Today is an episode of Miniature Railway Britain, so I've driven down here in my larder. I did think about coming by train, but it was quite a long walk from Fairham Railway Station. And when I realised there was classic cars, I thought, well, it would be nice to display it with some other classic cars. Behind them, there's a garden railway. It doesn't appear to be going at the moment, but we'll go and have a look at that later. Just as I said that, actually, I can see a train going, but we'll have a look at it later. There's a Morris Minor van, Morris Minor, an old one, it's got a split window. What we're going to do, we're going to go and have a look at the miniature railways, and there's quite a lot going on, because it's only open once a year. Whenever it does open, pretty much all of Fairham comes to visit. So if we look down here, we can see two railways, seven and a quarter, which I can just hear a train coming on, and then it looks like in the middle there's a racetrack, five inch and three and a half inch. So let's watch the train pass round the boating lake, there we are, look, there's a loco. It's quite cool, they've got a boating lake, so model engineers not just doing trains. Let's watch steam loco come pass first. Steam loco called Stanley, that looks like fun to have a ride behind and then as we can see there is a boating lake it is really busy here if you look ahead and just there's people everywhere so i might not be talking too much but i'm going to try and get as much line side shots as i can and of course we'll also do some riding off the train so it seems both railways disappear into a tunnel down there and we might just be able to see there's a some more trains that there's a fast 20 and there's another steam loco. We'll watch this one come round the lake. It goes into a tunnel here. So when we ride it, we'll see all the steam train go past. Steam loco whistles into the tunnel. The tunnel goes under here. And look, there's some full size steam rollers and traction engines, so that's exciting. It looks like there, look, they've got some remote control boats out, so you can have a play with them. Let's just have a look at these from an Abling Importer uh, steam roller. Let's have a closer look. She is in steam. Urban District Council, dumb dog, so she must have come from Ireland. She's at least in that colour, but she would have been built in Rochester. Unfortunately, they demolished the Abling and Porter building, but look, you can see she's in steam, everything's turning. So, we've got, and then there's another steam traction engine over there. Garrett. Garrett's came from, um, not to be confused with the Garrett steam locomotive, they came from Suffolk um, in Leyston near Sizewell nuclear power station, long before the nuclear power station. There's some mini steam tracks engines, all in steam. And in here, most probably those in here, but it's a rather nice model. Swiss crocodile, tram, Loco under construction, an 8F, Sterling single, two other locos, tracks and engines, etc. On this side, got some terriers, a 9F without smoke deflectors, Hania, a um, 4MT, stationary engines, B1 under construction, she hasn't got a boiler yet, a few more tracks and engines. GWR and on the real one of uh, the Seven Valley Railway. And now it's uh, I'm sort of joining the really busy area of people. I've noticed there's a little hut there selling tokens for rides. I'm going to go and buy some. Let's go and ride the railways here.
wheels up, really. Same like this. Yeah. Tracks getting quite greasy now. Thank <laughs> you. 
I'm having a good time here. You might just be able to hear in the distance the sound of the live music. But there's a footpath down the side of the place. And the reason I'm going down here, I'm going to go and look for something, nothing to do with railways and to make a separate video on. There's these really, really nice um, ponds here. I'm going to follow the footpath down there. I'm going to briefly show you in this video what I'm going to find. So, after a little bit of walking, a stone's throw away from the railway, I found Titchfield Abbey. But if you want to see inside, I'm going to make a separate video on that. I'm going to have a little look around, make a video, and I'm going to go back to the railway. Another ticket, yellow edged call. Call ticket there. Okay, 68, yellow edged 68. Next ticket, pink edge two six eight. Pink edge two six eight. Richard M. Is the Laura? Kevin is a summary. Looks like this 
for Melanie.
Well, it's now coming to the end of what's been a really pleasant day. I'm just in the marine exhibition, so as I say, they don't just do railways, they do marines. Um, someone does tanks, there's a little tank, I'm not quite sure who's controlling it, but there's a little tank out there. Um, this is actually on the top of the tunnel of one of the railways, because if you look down there, there's the two railways we've enjoyed riding behind. Um, the racetrack one is basically a big circuit folded in on itself. So the racetrack's tunnel goes under there. Should we walk along to the other end of the tunnel? I think the trains have pretty much stopped running. Um, I'm hoping to see one of the tracks ends has gone. As we've already seen, I'm hoping the other one's going to go. Yeah, look, there's the other end of the racetrack's tunnel. So I'm going to really walk back to my larder now. And then I've got a bit of a drive back to Buckinghamshire. There's the uh, remote control boats. I think they've been packed away now, but you could have had a go on them. I'd love to see this go there, this uh, theme boat. But I noticed on the other side, she had a Gaelic name because like I said earlier, she's registered to, to Dundalk um, in Ireland. So if we have a look down here, we have already seen this. But there was something else I wanted to, well, there might be a train coming. Uh, yeah, it's that class 67 in the lifeboat livery. Let's watch that go by. What I wanted to point out was just over there, I noticed a junction, there's another railway going off. Now naturally, I was intrigued, I thought, now where does that go? Because there's the garden railway. It appeared to go behind the garden railway, it's a bit... So I wonder where it went, I've had a bit of a look, I think it's the way they get visiting locomotives on and off. So, oh, there go. it sounds like we might be about to see a Morris Minor go past. We'll see that go past, and then um, there's my larder sat there quite happily amongst the other classic cars and I hadn't realised it when I parked at the beginning of the day but that other railway I said I wonder where it went look it ends here so this must be how they get the visiting locomotives on and off the site so I hope you've enjoyed this video thank you very much for watching please do feel free to like subscribe and comment and from Fairham Model Engineering Society goodbye